new at 10, a colorless, odorless gas is coming out of your granite countertops. It's called radon, and it's the second leading cause of lung cancer after smoking. So how much is in your kitchen, and is it enough to be dangerous? Deandra Corinthios has the answers only on NBC 26. All granite naturally contains some radon because it's a stone mined from the earth. But how much depends. In a few cases, radon specialists say a countertop could emit enough of the gas to equal smoking half a pack of cigarettes a day. This particular test was on a uh, granite countertop in De Pere, Wisconsin. Owner and radon expert with Bayside Inspections, Ron Norrie, says it's not often he gets a call about radon in countertops. But when he does, he tests for it. My high level is 1.8. My low level is 0.0. .0. It turns out that granite countertop was safe. Radon levels are measured in Pico Curies per liter of air. The Environmental Protection Agency recommends taking action and removing the granite if levels are at four or higher inside a home. But we talked to one expert who says in some rare cases, granite can emit dangerously high levels. As much as a hundred pico curies per liter. We FaceTime with Stanley Liebert, a quality assurance director at CMT Laboratories in New York. He's tested nearly 500 homes for radon and granite countertops and says less than 10 percent showed high levels. But those that do, he says, can be a real concern. The radiation and radon levels were far too high for her to continue with that granite. The Marble Institute of America posted independent scientific research about it on their website. Researchers tested one million granite countertops, taking into account the likelihood the stone would be purchased, the size of the countertop installed, the size of the home, and ventilation rate of the home. The results? 99.95% produced radon levels lower than the normal level outdoors. In other words, an extremely low probability. All the different colors that are in the stone are basically different elements or minerals. Local granite retailers like Ryan Stren at Bay Area Granite and Marble in Suamico say how much radon a stone emits depends on where in the world it's quarried from and what part of the quarry it's mined from. There may be a pocket in that quarry where it may have a little bit higher um, uranium in there, in there which uh, uh, may affect the levels of the stone. Granite from Brazil or India, some of the main granite exporters tend to have higher levels according to Liebert. Also granite with a purplish or magenta coloration. But Stren says all evidence points to only a minute chance of dangerous amounts of radon in granite. I do have it in my house. I've got a three-year-old daughter. Um, if at all I thought that uh, this was going to harm my daughter, I wouldn't have it in my house. Local expert Ron Norrie says based on his experience, granite is safe. Would I be afraid of granite in my personal home? Absolutely not. Radon experts and granite salesmen alike say if you have doubts, get your countertops tested. The radon levels emitted from your basement should be higher than any levels emitted in your kitchen. New homes built tighter and more energy efficient will also tend to have higher levels of radon than older homes. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26. And you can find much more on radon safety on our website. Go to NBC26.com for information on certified radon technicians, do-it-yourself testing kits, and a link to the EPA website. Just click on this story on our homepage.